Now, a study by a team of researchers from the University of California in Los Angeles could prove to be vital in efforts to find a HIV cure in the future. The UCLA-led study continues research on a strategy called kick and kill, which many of the same scientists first described in a 2017 paper. The approach gently arranges the dominant virus to reveal itself in infected cells so it can then be targeted and killed. In the earlier study, the researchers gave antiretroviral drugs or ARVs to mice whose immune systems had been altered to mimic those of humans and then infected with HIV. They then administered a synthetic compound called SUW 133 which was developed at Stanford University to activate the mice's dormant HIV. Up to 25% of the previously dormant cells that began expressing HIV died within 24 hours. The study's lead or lead author, Dr. Jocelyn Kim, said, and we quote, These findings show proof of concept for a therapeutic strategy to potentially eliminate HIV from the body a task that had been nearly impossible for many years. The study opens a new paradigm for a possible HIV cure in the future. End of quote. According to UNAIDS, there are currently 38 million people living with HIV worldwide. And a study, also I'll take that again, and a study also by the UNAIDS, it says that um, an estimated 36 million have died if of HIV-related diseases in the decades since HIV began circulating. Now, people with HIV take antiretroviral or ARV medication to keep the virus at bay, but HIV has the ability to elude drugs by lying dormant in cells called CD4 plus T cells, which signal another type of T cell, the CD8, to destroy HIV-infected cells. When a person with HIV stops treatment, the virus emerges from, from those reservoirs and replicates in the body, weakening the immune system and raising the likelihood of infections or cancers that can lead to illnesses or even death. The study in mice could point towards a method for clearing virus from people who would otherwise depend on medication. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.